This is the Camper Caravan Show in Nadajin near Warsaw. This is the Death Left's Globe Line on a Mercedes Sprinter basis, 2020 version. It's a new vehicle, uh, semi-integrated 6613EB. This will cost around 100,000 euros. And then you can, if you want to start taking options, it's going to cost even more. Right, looking at it from here, first thing we see is a wide door with a uh, big window, which is nice, and also a flat floor. Now, coming in, uh, okay, the table's pretty small. Let's go at the back though first. So, we can see, uh, the used to think, E-beam is German for Einzelbetten, uh, individual beds, single beds, and but what this uh, does give, as you can see, as it's been laid out now in its double bed format, you can sleep lengthwise, you can sleep widthwise, uh, so both are of use uh, or possible. You've got here a very large um, wardrobe. This van's seven meters long, so I didn't say that. bit more storage in there and down here we have uh, access to the black uh, uh, water I don't know what sorry the grey water not the black water the grey water I don't know what you want that for but uh, there may be a reason unfortunately death laps let themselves down by this these ledges. Now this van here is uh, slightly better as the ledge is quite high but it's still it's a shelf. It's not um, a locker and a locker would be far better. I do appreciate there's not much room above the window but there is I would say a little bit more that could be used. So I think that they should be lockers, and this is unfortunately somewhere where death lifts are letting themselves down uh, in just about uh, all the vehicles they're doing in their 2020 range. How about that for a cute death lifts coat hanger hook? See, we've got the the bed there uh, above, but there's plenty of um, headroom. It is semi-integrated, but it is, as I said, I think, uh, I've got this flat floor. Wardrobe. Yeah, you've got your heating. It's an unusual place to put it. And uh, there's a warning to turn the gas off when you, the van is in motion. How many people do that? If you do turn your gas off when the vehicle's in motion, do write it down below. I've got a feeling that most people don't. I don't know. I actually do, but um anyway, write it down you think. <laughs> uh right, so here step into the shower. I just suppose it's handy for the, uh, the, uh, the shower tray to go in. Now one thing I do want to say though here is that uh, Deathless member of the Erwinheimer Group and the product differentiation uh, between the brands within that group is getting more and more blurred. Now, Heimer, as a brand, is using lots of Mercedes Sprinters as the base vehicle. So uh, this, it, okay, it's got a death lift style to it, uh, but I mean the price of this is the same price as you get uh, many uh, Heimer uh, vans for, also on a Mercedes Sprinter. Now the problem for this for a capital group is that it's going into competition with itself. Oh, look, I want to say this here. You've got the, um, th this thing here talks. You see, look at this. So it says uh, there, it's talking, and um, I tried filming this on. Uh, I was at La Strada and I filmed it. <laughs> so okay, so you can tell it what you want, 
and it does it for you. I think I turned the radio off when I came in. Right, nice um, skylight above. Well, I'll sit down here and give you some of the details about it, in fact. So, it's, uh, so the, uh, the price includes the Mercedes chassis packet, which is multifunctional leather, leather steering wheel with cruise control. There you go. Combi instrument with color display, digital, digital DAB radio, multimedia system, touchscreen, cup holder, front electrical, handbrake, passenger air pack, semi-automatic air conditioning in the driver's cab, tempmatic, alloy wheels, all season tires, large 93 litre diesel tank reversing camera. I think the reversing camera should be obligatory myself. Right, it also has a family package, fly screen door, awning light, which is 12 volt, panoramic skylight, uh, 70 times 50 centimeters, I just showed you. Uh, living room, cab blinds, habitation door, window, and central locking. Oh, central locking, yes, I forgot to mention that. Central locking, so it's contra this and the uh, driver's door as well. But doesn't, I should hope it includes the, the, the passenger uh, uh, into that, so they're all three. Um, Mercedes Systems Packet Automatic trans Transmission 7G Tronic Plus Hold Function Active Distance Assist Disc Tronic and it's got a Mercedes Style Package Exterior Colour Obsidian Black Metallic Bumper and Mounting Parts Painted in, in Vehicle Colour I put a picture of this on my, my website because I thought it looked so good Well <clears throat> I think of all the Death Lefts fans, this would probably be my favourite, but that's probably... I like the layout. I mean, you've got to say one thing though, that, that corridor is pretty wide. And uh, to give you an example of something, in my own van, I'm now thinking of even... Uh, well, it's a lot of work, but then... Um, I've got to ask you, is it really worth the work? I want to pull the um, uh, the shower out. So it's going to have this huge and unused, to a large extent, uh, corridor down here. Right, so the base price, you're looking at around um, 65, something like that, but here looking at yeah, this, there's so much and it's, it's, it's over 100,000. I do like that. I do like the door with the window in. Certainly, when in certain positions you can be driving in when you want to see through. That need to see through that window. And look at that huge, um, huge garage. Now, um, so from the technical details of this, the branding. Uh, within the Heimer Group is such is that it's really, in my opinion, it's, it's got lost. It's, okay, it looks like a uh, death left from the outside, but when you get in outside of the cosmetic things and you start looking at the details, then uh, which, are, which is in the end of the day what you're paying for, uh, then it's very, very similar. Okay, so we've got some uh, caravans here as well. As you can see, and uh, yeah, I'll take you around one or two of the vans whilst I'm here. So the other ones are on the Citroen, I think on the Fiat Ducato, I can't remember, Citroen or Fiat Ducato basis. Uh, the Citroen as a base vehicle has is, is got an increasingly large uh, share of the market. And Fiat Ducato, I mean, it's and went to three quarters of all motorhomes or were on a Fiat Ducato basis. Now, um, it's less than that. Oh, this one's a Fiat, sorry, there you go. Uh, but that's because of the amount of vans which are available. Fiat can't keep up with the demand. But, what's the difference between Fiat and Citroen? Well, you get a different logo, and that's just about it, really. They're built in the same factory. As are Peugeot factories. There's about seven of them, I think. Mm. 
mean, this is a weird one with this weird chair looking the wrong direction. Well, presumably it turns around all the same. Can't see the point in that at all. Yeah, I'll show you my favourite one uh, here, which is this one here. Wide door. And we'll have yeah, that is XLI. It's on a. It's got three axles. This is the most expensive one here. This thing you're looking at 150,000 euros for. Although it is pretty luxurious, isn't it? Winterized. They're pushing this now. Uh, 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 some, sorry, they're pushing in some models the winterization because uh, most of them are not uh, what we would possibly term as being winterized. This one is. So actually, they have actually brought a uh, quite a good selection of uh, vans here. And it's not as big as you get in Dusseldorf or Stuttgart, of course, but uh, considering I think this is the first time they have actually um, done an event in Poland as, as a company and not just as dealers, then it's pretty good. I took one of the, uh, I took this van out um, two years, two years ago, 2017, two and a half years, maybe three years ago, and. Uh, a very similar one anyway and I ended up sleeping in the bed up front, I had an integrated version though and because uh, I fell out of the bed at the back twice or thrice so this Pulse integrated 705 one aha uh -huh, flat floor unusual layout Looks a bit Trigano-ish from here. Right, so I hope you found that uh, of interest. I've shown you on the stand here, at least the, the motorhome part of the stand here. And um, if it is of interest, uh, please do subscribe, and if you get any benefit from what I do, please do consider giving support on uh, Patreon. So we have Globeline, semi-integrated 6613EB.